All right, hello everyone, I'm Ratman Horatio, and we're continuing to Sky today, and I think, I think we're gonna do the story a little bit. And by do the story, I mean we're gonna level up a weapon for Laharl here. Because he needs a plus ten uh, item or weapon or some such nonsense. You know I say that, but I'm instantly going to tell you I'm lying to you. While we are going to to level up a sword for Laharl, we uh we're also going to <laughs> I I may I may just need to finish up the dietitian and I want to get the the falcon shoes and the muscle hustle and and you know the poor impulse control. So let's real quick do do get treated cuz Laharl needed the health. Good. Last time, um, I was informed by an associate that that may have been the last promotion for Zero. No, there's another one. Holy Jesus. That's spooky. But yes, yes, we, we did a promotion for, for our printy, but uh, it was not in fact the last. It's going to give me the option, so I'm going to go ahead and do it. This is way more than is necessary. But uh, we're doing it anyways. Oh, that's too high. Okay. Okay, I have an idea. Uh, Flan. Flan doesn't have any counters. Doesn't have any movement either. Good, great, excellent. So. That blocks off those enemies. Oh, and there's the exit. I can just leave. But is that what I want to do? Let's see. I set this up like I was gonna... I can stack... Th three level 10 enemies. You want, know let, let's, let's test it out. Okay, stacking one level 10 with another level 10 nets me a, never mind. She's too noodly armed to actually make it. To actually make the throw. Well, they are doing a fair amount of damage. Twenty-three, and then a ten with another one. Th it depends. Okay. That's all I've got to say is it depends. So twenty-three with a ten makes a level. Oh. 
23. You might be wondering, for real Z's Horatio? Yes. Alright, I don't think it's actually worth it. Although I say that, that that's almost the same level as Planair. Maybe letting Andre and Flan just take pot shots at this dude until he dies would be a good idea. Flan, I swear to God, you have one job poison him. Lon, my standards are low. Well, at least this is exceptionally cheap. Actually hitting for zero. Alright, let's go grab Andre and have him do pot shots as well. Because getting Andre and Flan levels is is good TM. Poisoned. I should have espoired him before, but, like, it's whatever. It'll be fine. Ah, the poison wore off, so I don't have to worry about poison taking the kill. You know, I could have just had him stand on and on an invulnerability point. That could have been an option as well. Okay, he's not going to have enough SP to, to cast anything now. Now the question is, do I want Andre to get the XP, or do I want Flan to get the XP? I think getting Flan the XP would probably be the better idea. There we go. 
all of this because memes and invulnerability was on the table. She's level 14 now. Actually, can I check to see what her bow mastery's at? Two! Very good. You can't do this to me, game. You can't just offer me invincibility right out the gate and then not expect me to doomstack. This should get everybody shuffling and moving. Giga Wind! Ooh, that escalated. Good old triple burst. Hell Pepper is mildly annoying. Mostly because that can kill our the, the things we want to stack. So it did get poisoned, which means we are going to throw it over to Miriam, and Miriam is going to stack it for us. Yet another Giga Wind, really using the Giga Winds. That does really hurt, though. I'll give it that. And they're just over there being whatever. It, it doesn't matter to me. Though we can see that this character has leveled significantly. It's weird to say that that, that character really wants to kill my red mage. I don't know what my red mage did to upset it so, but it did something. Alright, level 73. Now we end turn. There are two enemies left that are available for stacking. And this is convenient to me. Alright, that's level 85. So let's grab zero and let zero do zero things. Oh good, zero can still hit her. Regardless of the bait tile and her own natural stats at this point. Just, just normal wind. I guess she's run out of SP for the Giga Winds. Imagine getting your shit rocked by a Prinny. This message from Prinny Gang. Apparently she just had enough for an extra Giga Wind. Fun fact, that wouldn't have got him. Oh, that's hilarious. Now this is where things get interesting. You see, she's in the prime, the opportune position to receive Dagger in the butt. Look at that damage. Alright, so he was level, what, 55-ish? I, I, I don't quite perfectly remember. He was in the 50s. Is he still in the 50s after defeating a level 80? He's level 58 now. Pretty power!
Ah, invincibility, you say? Fun fact, it actually doesn't matter who we take this time. Because, like, the entirety of the board is set up to be. Invincibility with plus two attacks and nonsense. See, it's fine. Please don't friendly fire your 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 associate there. I need them to not die. Oh right, it doesn't matter. Invincibility. I, I keep forgetting. Perfect. And there are more enemies over here, so we can get away with this with uh, zero repercussions. I love it. Can't move the Harl back into the exit, so that's unfortunate, but this is what it is. Ah, paranoia. And here I was forgetting that that existed. That is some impressive damage, however. Unfortunately, it's just signed up for the fuck corner. Here you go. Uh, you can't leave now. Really? It's, it, it's a tile short? Oh, she threw, right. Now I need to grab... Oh no, Miriam... Wait, nope, we're, we're gonna- we're gonna do a classic strategery. A classic strat. Oh, come on. There we go. So Ed. Now Ed should be able to throw Miriam into position. Perfect. Helping. All right, it's got 271 health hit points left. Good old Zero's level 58. Take his shoes, Zero. Very good. Level 60. Two levels. Ah, yes, the snowballing printy is a thing of beauty. 
unfortunately that this is going to rapidly become it's going to get harder and harder to get enemies doom stacked up to an appropriate level there's a specialist is it a specialist we want we should still go for it but it's just one of those things you know ah a gladiator yes we we do in fact want that we want it badly we are down bad for some gladiator Sorry, I was having a, uh, uh, an, uh, moment where I'm just like, no, I need plein air for this. No, I, in fact, do not need plein air for this. Good old Zero punching above his his weight level for so long, and it's just like, oh, he gets to punch down for once. What's his damage like? Exceptional. Ah, uh, yes, I see. XP, attacks, clone, and ally damage. Uh, the appropriate response to this kind of level is to just leave. You can just go. If it sucks, hit the bricks. Inno Vinsobility once again. Shit. And Miriam. Ooh, lots of targets. Can you not friendly fire each other? I beg you. Impressive stomp. Pepper harms me not. Stomparama once again. Alright, what we're encountering here is the other enemies aren't moving because it's registering that they're going to die to, uh, through the stump here. So they're just hanging out instead. Also, he's standing on a damage tile. They're standing on damage tiles. I need to get them to shuffle and move some way, somehow. of cyan tiles lying around near uh, near the spawn point which is rough okay now now we see other ones moving this is the important bit We can get Andre to move. Hopefully that one dude who's low on health isn't going to stand in a bad place. 
Okay, they're casting Paranoia again, which is whatever, I don't care. Joke's on you. I'm abusing invincibility. Yeah, these damage 20% are a little bit spooky. Just a hair. Pounding spree. I made a mistake there. I should have thrown this guy into that one and then, yeah. Now this, this provides us an interesting situation. Where we can now throw this guy back up into that one position and then throw someone else into him. We're actually going to grab this this really low health dude because if he stands on the wrong tile, he's going to die. Merge them. Despite being level 108, he only has 730 of it, 5 of his health because of damaged tiles. Thank you, game. Ah, good old paranoia. Zombie's just been standing there because he's in the perpetual soft lock state of, well, the things that those high level enemies are going to attack are going to die, so I don't need to move. This should break him out of the stupor. Over a thousand health. He's level 160. Well, he's actually at level 160 on the spot, on the dot. This has become a difficult situation. Paranoia. That is some impressive damage, however. Okay, I need to move him one spot closer. He can still do damage. This will take a little bit, but... I don't know how much movement. You've got four movement. So let's go ahead and move zero. Let's move zero here. Move Miriam over a spot. And then grab Ed, who we know can actually make this jump. And put him here. What's all this for? It, it's to get zero alone on the board, you see, because um, that'll make this all easier for me, at least. 
Also, how much SP do you have left? Your... your stuff must be very cheap. Also down to 132. All of this to get... to get the other characters out. Joke's on you, you're both invincible. Both invulnerable to attacks. Very good. He's decided to sit on a good tile. Good is a matter of perspective, because that's, uh... That's a defense plus tile, and that's gonna make this a little tedious. I could move over... Yeah, I'm gonna move over the tile. Oh, he's just gonna hop on the invincibility tile. Right. I didn't think that through. Never let it be said that the old ratty is smart. Okay, what tile is he sitting on now? Ally damage. Perfect. Ah, pounding spray. Doesn't hurt because it was initiated while we were on an invincibility tile. And you're on a neutral tile once again. We're going to go ahead and move back to invincibility and we're just gonna sit here and pound ya. Little by little, we'll chip your health down. We'll wear you out. Ah, he's finally out of SP. Well, not entirely out, but he can't afford any of his moves. Oof. A string of misses. Speaking of, I wonder what his speed is like right now. He's standing on a damaged tile. Ooh. How much health does he have left? 23. My boy. Fantastic. You love to see it. Oh, that's a stage clear. Whoops. Now well, we get extra money out of it. So what level is zero now? didn't take into account that that's just a uh, full-on cock block.
You know, in hindsight, I should have had zero attack the, the zombie here. So he still has 96 HP left. Attack minus 50. That's heartbreaking. Uh, duh, 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 duh. Reality is often disappointing. He can run away like a little bitch, so he doesn't get jackknifed. I'm an idiot. No lifting on red. I also can't undo that move. Well, that was weird. Oh, green is the no lifting tile. Uh, that's... Okay, uh... What do I want to do here then? Fantastic. That was terrible and a poor showing of me. Uh, uh zero? Can you move far enough? You can.
Oh, he didn't help pepper me. Hey, look, if he makes it over here without dying. Every single dot tile is 20% damage, so it's just like, oh, the floor is lava. <laughs> it really do be that way, doesn't it? Well, I don't think he's gonna make it, but uh, he might get a stab in before it's over. Oh no, he made it, he made it. Great for him. Unfortunately, he's against zero. That is a whole lot of enemy boost. Lots of enemy boost. This is the item general. So we're going to go ahead and we're just going to grab Andre, who survived this time. And we're going to have him uh, shimmy and shake the world a little bit. Uh, next turn, I'm going to have him shimmy and shake the world a little bit. The world is an etch-a-sketch, etch and... Uh, He is ready to... Oh, can I only do that? Hmm. Well, that's disappointing. We went from bad to way, way worse. Okay, we'll see if Z uh, Zero, with his large movement range, can maneuver this hell map. Don't worry, Zero, I believe in you. Oh no, Zero's asleep. Demon's Breath Part 20. Does Demon's Breath just put you to sleep? Is that the status effect? I assumed it poisoned. Look, Zero, please wake up. The enemies are waking up, but you're not waking up. You're even receiving damage. Wake up, Zir! What the hell? 
This is like in Pokemon, whenever you get someone put to sleep and it's just like, oh, nope, nothing they can do about it. And you just kind of have to accept that you're going to be there for 20 turns. Alright, this is getting a little dumb and a little frustrating. Would you like to be stunlocked to death? Sorry, you didn't take coffee maker, shit ass. Prepare to die. If he dies here, it'll be really funny, but super frustrating at the same time. Also, that did, like, no damage. God damn it, Laharl. I deserve this. At least it's Laharl getting ganged up on now. You know what, this will be worth it to me. Just just for the pure catharsis. God damn it. Please wake up, Zero. You are made of damage for a reason. Granted, it's funny they couldn't kill Zero, and he just managed to, to face tank it all, but like... That's really annoying. I guess this also gives Laharl healing experience, so that's a plus. Come on, Zero, I know you can wake up. Man got put in a coma at the start of the round, and it's just... He hasn't been able to wake up since. We learned the importance of Coffee Maker here today, ladies and gentlemen, because it doesn't matter how powerful you are if you get stunlocked to death, because... Oh boy... Lol, Lamau. Would you like multiple sleep stacking? Would you like max sleep duration? Would you like all of your plans to go for naught? I'm just gonna let Laharl use more Mega Heals on himself just so he can get more XP with it. Okay, that's just enemy boost. He can stand there. Here goes. How oh, frustrating and spectacular. I 
I mean, this does just allow me to, to pump experience into Mega Heal, which is great. You know, it's funny, there was a time when Mega Heal was, like, a full heal to me. And it has since passed. Almost a one shot. He is getting a 50% boost, so that's probably why he didn't get one shot. Probably. magic sword. This gives a respectable amount of everything, but I really want to put this on there for just even more speed. I lose a little bit of attack. I lose a little bit of everything, but I gain, I gain quite a lot of speed. But more importantly, this gives me even more movement. Now that we've upgraded Laharl's stuff, his weapon, we should be able to get past the nonsense. I will now add a Denaro Palace to the list of available areas. Sounds rich to you. I can't wait to see what's there. Oh boy. I choose to believe this is zero. Dude, we'll work hard for our paycheck. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna save before I go in. I really don't need to. Like I'm I've I've been told that uh yeah I'm over leveled to hell for this, the gaudy entrance. He's level five. Goodbye, Donnie. Hello, can I interest you in a... I have a package for you. It's a bomb.
I don't think the AI is really set up for you to, to turbo level like I have, apparently. Because it's like, oh, he ran past. What do we do now? Uh, good question. Behold, even more explosives. Local Prenny commits terrorist acts at uh, local mansion. Go ahead and get our SP back so we can do that again. Ah, story. These are all from the castle. Ah, I see a, a government employee has been embezzling again. Probably was taken when the king died, so this place belongs to an ex-vassal. This will be fun. Bernice, this is your paychecks. You better work hard. Aye, aye, dude. Hmm. Netherworld prinnies are a lot different than celestial prinnies. And celestial prinnies cook, clean, and do the laundry. But they're all the same on the inside. On the inside, what do you mean? You're an angel and you don't know what... Don't know these things? Prinnies have human souls inside them. Most of them were pretty worthless in their past lives, like murderers or thieves. They work as prinnies in the netherworld and celestia to atone for their sins. In Celestia, they do good deeds for free. In the Netherworld, they do ultra-hard labor for less than minimum wage. Once they've redeemed themselves or saved enough money, they can be reincarnated. I don't know all the details, but that's the basic idea. I see, but why do they have to work for money in the Netherworld? You've never heard of the saying, money makes the Netherworld go round? I don't get it, is money that important? My god. Of course it is, Celestians. There is love and friendship and no. No. Denaro. Money. Coin. Currency. What good is that stuff? Is your head full of flowers or something? Yes, I love flowers. Good for you, Flan. Be your best self. Oh, they have a dog. No entry, no lifting. Adorable. He actually landed a hit. Impressive. Beam. Hello, yes, the printing has arrived to commit acts of terrorism.
Wee, I'm a pretty and I'm free. Why does he keep getting point blank range in order to arrow at me? Well, he's trying. So what's that Willock? You're a manticore. Well, Willock, you made an honest attempt. Now die. Imagine all of your hired goons being taken out by a single printy. Delicious. Beautiful. We are, however, going to heal because I want even more SP. I want to be able to, to beam again if it ever comes to it. It also costs only a single hell to, to accomplish this. The flashy... <laughs> the flashy passage. Oh, look! Die choked on a black pretzel. I died by choking on a pretzel? Wooey, that's a lot of that's a lot of enemies. Bombs for everyone. Ooh, you actually hit. I'm just gonna have him stand right there and be a juicy target. Imagine that this would be an interesting place to stack enemies. trying.
Look, you need to understand, I'm here, I'm here to provide some explosive packages to everyone. More explosives. Very good. You're running out of backup dancers. Alright, the question is, do I have enough for one more pretty bomb? No, no I don't. Alright, we're gonna do this the old-fashioned way then. I lied! The one that's been doing all this damage deserves a bomb! Is this a colossal waste of resources? Yes. Do I care? No. I'm doing it anyways because it's funny to me. I will say what is impressive is that spear, that spear person has been able to hit me just repeatedly. Despite the monumental difference in stats, they've been able to consistently hit me with over a thousand speed. My bomb. So cool. Have you tried playing with its fuse? Morpheus. Not to be confused with Morbius. Morbin time. Uh, I get the feeling we're about to see this exact situation happen two more times where I go up and I attack one of them. The next one in line attacks me, but the one I'm attacking dies. Yep. Go, my pretty, go. My pretty, pretty. Don't you just love patterns, and the way things can repeat? Let's change it up though and go for a proper backstab. Goodbye, Aldous. There's a lavish hall. Zero is quite literally the only one being affected by any of this. Do we meet the owner of this palace yet? Ah, greedy demon. How do I love thee? Let me count the way. So I'm guessing this is the representation of an orc. I shall become the net overlord. <laughs> Long time no see, Hog Miser. Who's there? <laughs> Don't tell me you've forgotten me. Who are you? Laharl, the heir to the throne, King Krichevskoy's son. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Ever since the king died, I knew I was forgetting something. Ah, so it was you, Prince. You call yourself a vassal? You know how demons are. You always say not to be so picky about the details. I'm not a detail! <laughs> no, don't be so self-centered. 
I'm glad you helped refresh my memory. It was nagging me, like a fishbone stuck in my throat. The fishbone You! Well, what do you want? What do you mean, what do I want? Now that my old man's dead, I'm the Netherworld's next overlord. I'm taking back everything that's mine, and the rest of your fortune, too. <laughs> Don't push your luck. Just because you're the king's son, it doesn't mean you can do whatever you want. It's strength that counts in the Netherworld. If you want what is now mine, you'll have to take it. Will he survive a pringy beam? This is the question. That's exactly what I had in mind. Enough talk. Let's go. Fighting over money and power. Were the angels right about demons? If they really are evil, then. I'm doing this just to open a path. Greetings. I have a delivery for you. Um, it's death. He didn't survive, by the way. Beautiful. Looks like we'll have to use Andre with his enhanced mobility. Goodbye. I think that's gonna kill Andre, which is kind of funny. He survives, but barely. Now he gets to run away and lick his wounds. No pipe bomb, unfortunately. Beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> you lose. I'm taking everything as promised. You can't! I won't be able to survive without my money! Well then, I'll just finish you off now. <laughs> How cruel! Not only is he taking his money, but his life too! I can't let this happen. If worse comes to worse, I'll stop him with my own two hands! Pure, unadulterated naivete. Wait, you bully! Kid demon. Who are you? Hogmiser's son? Let go! I won't go easy on you just because you're a kid. Hey, kid! Why are you risking your life for this greedy pig? You wanna die? Don't you understand, Laharo? This is love! Here we go again. 
Love, love, love. Is that all you've got in your puny little head? You damn love freak. You can call me whatever you want, but why is it that you refuse to believe in love? <laughs> oh, I joke because of the PG-13 rating, but, uh... You reject it because you're afraid of it. Isn't that right? Laharl, my son. Oh, that, that... That's what the king sounded like? Oh, no. Hmm. What do you think of me? Do you love me? No, I hate you. <laughs> a typical answer for a demon? Which is fine for now, but one day... <laughs> what? About my old man! Old man, huh? All right. Speculation time. Did he marry an angel? Was that why they want the the previous king dead and all this set up? What was he trying to tell me that time? That he was a pervert and deviant? This is stupid. Why am I even thinking about this? It's all that love freak's fault. Forget it. I've wasted enough of my time. Huh? You're not gonna finish him? It wouldn't make me any richer. All right, start taking the good stuff. But make sure you leave some behind for them. Laharl. Hmm. <laughs> Hogmiser was deeply moved by Laharl's kind gesture and joined your party without your consent. Master Lamington, I, I did this for five thousand hell. Those words you spoke to me. Master Lamington? What is it, Flan? Ah, uh, yes, the Seraph just dabbing in and out of existence because it pleases him. The angels told me that the demons are all evil. Is that true? What do you think? Hmm. I've never met one, so I don't know. <laughs> Listen carefully, Flan. There is no such thing as absolute evil or absolute good. His dead eyes bother me immensely. The angels assume that they are good and the demons are evil. That is an unfortunate misconception. Demons do have love. The angels, and in fact most demons, just do not realize it. If we can guide them, if we can make them see, then one day, so is this guy, is it going to turn out that this guy is like Laharo's uncle or something, and this is all some turbo weird family squabble? Master Lamington, I will accompany Laharo for a little while longer. He is selfish, self-centered, and stubborn, and those aren't his only shortcomings. His height? But I have discovered a hint of kindness in his heart. It may be small, but I have great hope that he will learn to love. So, Master Lamington, please forgive my digression. Oh boy. Episode 3. Roaming the wild frontier, Etna is challenged by the Dark Chef Howe. A cooking battle deathmatch begins that will shake the Earth's foundation! Sounds cheesy to me, dude! This week's dish, Cajun-style gumbo! And the ingredients, the Pretty Squad! Dude, us? Etna <laughs> struggles to resist the powers of the dark side of cooking. But then, Ajikage the ninja cook appears! Dude, what in the world? Next on Fire Chef Cooking Gal Etna Episode 4, Etna 120% with a pitch of murderous intent. Yeah, hopeless, dude. I agree with the Prinny Squad here. How much drugs were taken during the writing of this? Our little flan. She managed to escape the grasp of the demon. She's literally partied up with the prince. What do you mean, escaped? <laughs> She probably used her feminine charm. She's like five! What the hell, dude? So, Krachevskoy was already dead. 
What I don't understand is why Flan hasn't returned to Celestia. Is it possible that she's trying to use the demons to gain control of Celestia? What is with these leaps of logic? That's it. That has to be it. There's no other explanation. I won't allow it. My plan shall not be interfered with. The man's looking like a soy jack. Still, this demon den is so filthy, it reeks of evil. Mm -hmm. What is this book? Don't demons know how to put things away when they're done with them? <sighs> what kind of book is this? My god! This page! This page! All these pages! <laughs> There's just no noise, it's just ha ha. D -d noiseless laughter? What? Huh? I mustn't. I mustn't fall for the demon's trap. Oh, I understand now. He found some smut. And he was, uh, polishing his halo. Those cunning fiends. But I, Archangel Volcanus, will not fall prey to such a Flan, where are you? <sighs> hmm? I don't like this. I immensely dislike this. Ah, I found you. There is only one person who makes a noise like that when she sleeps. I'm taking your pendant. Rot in the depths of the netherworld. <laughs> Did we just witness some... Episode 4. Gift from an angel. I... That has some weird undertones to it. A pendant? Yes. It was gone when I woke up this morning. And what are you trying to say? That one of us stole your pendant? No. If it were you, you would steal it impartially, right? Hmm. S so you do get it. What do you want me to do? I want you to help me find my pendant. Huh? Do I look like a servant boy to you? No. But... What's wrong, Juan? You look tired. Y yes that pendant to me before I came to the netherworld. An angel trainee like me cannot stay in the netherworld very long without that pendant. At this rate, I will lose all of my energy and eventually die. I see this as an absolute win. Hmm, is that so? Well, that sucks. Prince, what you gonna do? Like I should care. She came to assassinate my old man in the first place. That's our prince. Even capable of turning his back on such a helpless little girl. Uh, of course! Laharl? What? It's the truth, isn't it? Laharl, if you can find my pendant, I will give you something good. What the fuck? Something good, you say? Hm. If I wanted it, I'd just steal it from you. You would use violence on weak little me? Yes. Give it up already. I'm a demon. It doesn't matter who you are, even if you were old, maimed, or diseased. Fine. Then my gift will never be yours. What's that supposed to mean? Tell me. Are you trying to provoke me? <laughs> Fine. I've got to... Laharl. But let me make one thing clear. I'm not doing this for your sake. And when I find the pendant, that something good is mine. Thank you, Laharl. You're an angel. You shouldn't be thanking demons. 
I do what I want when I want. Remember that. Huh. I have questions. I'm not going to find answers, but the questions will always, and I do mean always, remain. Ah, the portrait. I saw a portrait of the king in Hogmiser's palace. My heart aches when I look at his majesty's face. Do my memories have something to do with the king? I'll find out soon enough. Just have just a little longer until I get my memories back. So Hogmiser joined the team, yes? He's level 12. He is... <laughs> he only beats out the prinnies. Like, the non-important prinnies. Ah, and he's a monster. R class, rich demon. I see. <laughs> Did that leather jacket have any good, uh... It doesn't. Well, it had five coach, but... See if he's selling any uh, SP restorers other than barbecue sauce. An egg yolk and a protein shake. Uh, he's also selling two mint gum for some reason. Also some dandy gowns. Quite a lot of dietitian and arms master. Well, it looks like we're stuck with, uh, with a. Oh dear, dear oh dear, stuck with the barbecue sauce. Tell me about the sauce. Now, I could do I could do a little fun, a little trolling, and put um, Zira's equipment on Hogmiser and let Hogmiser spiral, but uh, let's not yet. I, I want to take a look at, at characters for a moment, see if the assembly has any interesting characters. Right, so what I want to do is I wanted to go to... create a new character. Prinnies still exist. I would need to get the approval of the council or the assembly in order to make a distinguished Prinny. 
Manticore exists now. Oh, I can make average Manticores. Interesting. Zombie ghoul corpse. A dragon. I could, in fact, make it a completely average dragon. Skilled Nightmare. Guardian. Pumpkins and decoys. Dark Knight. Imp and a Gremlin. Maneater and Oak Rot. Could make an average one of these. Oh, I see, I see. So as you uh, get higher tiers, they get not only just better stats, but better weapon proficiencies. Hey, a Centurion. We had to fight one of those before. I'm kind of tempted to, to use all of the, the mana to make, like, a dragon or something, just for shits and giggles. Good mate. I'm I'm really tempted to make one of the uh these other monsters, like a gargoyle or a shadow or a dragon, because it just seems neat, but at the same time I'm kinda tempted to make like a decoy or something. save and I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna basically do a, a dash at the promotion exam for zero because I just want to see what it's like like what what is this serpent oh they they start surrounding me Woo wee I've got quite a bit of health all right how much movement do they have five Jack Knife, Jack the Ripper, Jack Rush, and Jack Pot. You think they jack off? All right, let's see if we can take care of them one at a time. It'll be awkward. And oh, they're they're actually trying to move for it. Ouchies. The plan is, in essence, to just soften them up. That's right, we're using this already. If we're lucky, that'll get rid of both of them, but it'll probably only get rid of the one in the back. Nope, got rid of both of them. Fantastic. Run for your life, my pretty. Look at him go. Adorable. Yep, 
they're just gonna do whatever it is they're gonna do over there, and I'm gonna... I'm gonna use these caterpillar eggs. It seems like they don't actually have a whole lot of jump height to them. Yeah, they have really low jump height. They can't make it... Oh, they can't make it up those. That's really funny. Okay, so I found my cheese strategy. Though it looks like they'll be able to come down, but just not back up, like, not go up it quickly. trying you know if I brought better healing this would probably work better Also, the fact that I can move eight tiles per turn is helping me greatly. I think all that would have been necessary is me bringing cotton candy instead of normal candy. So this is doable, I think. It depends how, uh, how devastating Serpent is. Lap dance, quad, quadra nose dive, and death drop. 1,820 health. Move to here real quick. And I don't think I have any more healing on me. I used everything I could. Might as well drink yam starch while I'm at it. So that I can bring your beam. Bring your beam. Oh, this is all I can do this turn. And uh, I'm probably going to die here, but that's fine by me, TM. This was an interesting experiment, and lets me know that this is plausible. <laughs> Supernova! Ooh, that hurts. That hurts a lot, so I'm gonna need to be at near full health for that. Of course, I can always just continue to grind instead. I'd like it if you sold... Oh, garlic water. Yep, yam starch. You're selling chocolate. Very good. Item. Sort that. Sort that. So, we have multiple options. We can continue the story. I can try to try to do the next promotion I can I can look at my characters and try to manage equipment or I can go back into the item world and do even more of that and the reality is I can probably push through quite a lot of the story at this point with how powerful zero has become Let's see. His natural stats have grown nicely. I say, is he still wearing boots that increase his defense quite significantly?
I'm... You know, I'd like to hear... like to hear your comment section. I'd like to hear your opinion on whether I should start pushing through the story or keep doing item world shenanigans. Because item world shenanigans are tons of fun and all, but it comes with the downside of all beginning to blur together after a while, and I'm starting to hit that point where all the item worlds are becoming... Uh... Wh wh what's the term? Samey? It's still fun, don't get me wrong, but it's just beginning to blur, and that's kind of concerning. If you know what I mean. Bow of Havoc. Bow of Justice. Really, they're just not interested in axes this time around. I like how I, I, I verbally hyped up axes. Like, oh yeah, these tend to have, have good melee st stuff, like Gladiator and Dietitian a lot. And then afterwards, they're just like, uh, sorry, no axes. Now, however, I think I'm going to go through it. I'm going to... I don't know if I'm going to go into the item worlds, but I am going to combine residence and whatnot and just ponder for a moment. I'm going to think about it real hard. There's a statistician on here, so I can... I suppose I could start leveling up another st statistician to potentially go and do... Um, Oh, that barbecue sauce has some good, some good stuff on it. This bandit hand, too. What, what in the world's going on here? But right, I, I'm just not entirely certain. I, I could go into items, and I, I could do more item world stuff. I could keep leveling, keep grinding keep up the the embiggening of the Prinny and maybe start breaking off and trying to get Hogmiser powerful because anyone but the main cast has my undivided attention. But like... Do I really want to go through the effort of getting another 300 statistician just for, for another character? Or do I want to push on with the story until I hit a roadblock, a stopgap, if you would? And I think that's where we're going to leave it off for today. Thank you all so much for watching, for stopping by. I'm Ratman Horatio, and that was Disguy PC. Please leave your, your input down in the comment section. What what do you want to see? More item world, or do, should I push on with the story, or... Also, to be entirely honest, moving forward, if I'm doing more story stuff, I might actually just make popcorn before I start recording and just have that as a snack as we watch the cutscenes because I think it'd be funny, and it would also just kind of placate me as I'm... I'm uh, as I'm experiencing this wacky, wacky story. Thank you all so much for stopping by, and I hope to see you all again.